guys, welcome back to the 100K Challenge. This is going to show you how to track your advertising. Finally, the quick and easy solution for tracking ads. As you can see, I'm, there's 100 bells and whistles and 100 ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the fastest, easiest, most direct way to track your sales through this funnel, okay? So as you can see, what's gonna happen is, the sales total here is going to pop up right here along with your traffic sources. This is gonna tell you where your traffic sources are getting, where the sales are coming from. That's what it's all about. That way you can continue with that ad, you continue placing those ads, you can ramp those ads up, you can delete some of the ads that are not converting. Let's get started. Link name. Okay. If you're following along with our, if you turn on your system, you can give this any name you want. Okay. And after a while, your names, you'll have a lot of, of links out there. The link group is just, a, you can group these together in terms of uh, different systems and funnels that you're creating. So like if you're promoting one product, you can give it the, the uh, product a name here under link group and then put all of those links under that group. So that way you just keep it organized, okay? But if you're just getting started, you can give this a, a, a link name called 4% funnel, okay? And uh, funnel number one, okay? Very easy. Uh, and then your tracking link, let's just call it four, okay? And then the primary URL is the, uh, the funnel that you're sending it to, that where do your leads opt in? And if you're into ClickFunnels, it, if you've already set up your ClickFunnels funnel, all you have to do is click here, copy that, and you will, you can copy, paste that right there. So now all of your leads are gonna go here. Here's your tracking link that you named. And then if somebody clicks on this tracking link, they're gonna go to your primary URL, okay? Do not cloak the URL. Let's leave this uncloaked. I've run into some problems sometimes when you cloak it because some of the cookies don't get set properly. Okay, so don't clo cloak anything unless you're absolutely sure. Okay, and then under show advanced settings, this is where you can put your traffic cost. Okay, so if you're paying for ad ads, you can set up each URL tracking to track each ad. Okay, but I'm gonna leave this blank for now and, and then that way, um, and then here's a really interesting one, the repeat URL, okay? If a visitor has already cl clicked on this link and tomorrow they come back and click on it again, you can have it redirect to the actual sales page so they don't have to keep opting in every single time. So if you're inside your, uh, if you're inside your funnel, you could go to your links and then you could give them this is the backup URL where, so that way you they don't have to opt in again okay so we could go ahead and repeat URL boom apply if visitor has already clicked any tracking link okay so boom let's go ahead and put that as a repeat URL okay so that way this will save the customers this is good customer service so that way if your visitor clicks here they'll usually opt in tomorrow if they click it it'll go to their sales page so that's just a repeat URL that I like, okay? Let's go ahead and create that link. Here's what it looks like, okay? You can see 4% funnel one, okay? Here is the tracking link. You can preview that if you would like, okay? You can preview that if you would like to see it'll go to your ClickFunnels landing page. Remember, if you click on it again, it's gonna go to your sales page if you put that in. Okay, and so if you go to your settings, we're gonna add the tracking pixels. Okay, so click on settings. If you'll notice, this comes up, the little menu comes up, it says track conversions. Click it, okay? Your tracking conversions, will click in here. Let's go ahead and select this one, first click. So the first person to click there, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll add this sales tracking pixel. Let's go ahead and copy this tracking pixel. Okay, we're tracking sales. If you want, you can track engagements where you can determine the number of opt-ins by the engagement pixel. 
and you could uh, track actions but for now we're gonna track the sales for this video I want to do sales okay so so the sales tracking page will be added to the thank you page okay and now if you want to track what your audience is doing what your customer or your visitors are doing you would use the engagement tracking pixel okay so this is going to tell you how many opt-ins that you're getting where they're coming from and so you would put those right there boom and then that way you save those changes and then and then that the tracking will be set up just for this sales page now click go over to click funnels okay if you want you can go ahead and go to settings here and keep in mind the sales tracking pixel is for the thank you page only right here okay that'll track the one sale when they reach that thank you page okay uh, uh, now on the click funnels you go to e engagement tool here and then you want to add that to your body tracking code here under settings okay and then once you paste that in you can go ahead and save and update changes that's easy okay now that it's done 100 percent it's done now what happens is you could go to remember i set up this tracking link remember here's my tracking link now whenever i have an advert ad what you would do is uh, under the ad you would, under notepad you would do your uh, so if this is the tracking link this would be add one add two add, add three okay so here's what happens let's say i have an ad you can name this anything you want let's call it like what i like to do is give it a name like if it's facebook i would call it Facebook and then uh, let's say the let's say it's Facebook ad one uh, and, and so now if I have five Facebook ads now I can see which one is converting okay add two would be let's say I have a uh, YouTube video ad uh, uh, vid, YouTube ad one YouTube ad two YouTube ad three YouTube ad four if I have a Craigslist free ad I would say Craigslist uh, and then give it the date uh, and then that way you know okay this Craigslist ad that was on that date got that sale see and so now when people click on this what's going to happen is it's going to track that uh, it's going to track everything and then it's going to track the ad the engagement and if anybody buys it's going to tell you where that sale comes from okay and then you could click on right here you could click on the number next to sales and it's going to list each cell and the spot where that ad came from where that cell was generated from and so that is the power of tracking now once you set that up you're going to you remember your ads you're going to place this is the link you know your tracking link that you would post somewhere whether it's on Facebook whether it's on Craigslist or YouTube or forums that's the link that you want as many people as possible clicking on and then it will tell you where that uh, ads are coming from so if so that's facebook that's youtube that's see do you see how that works you put the ad code where your advertisement here so that's ad i'm going to place one ad here i'm going to place one ad there i'm going to place one ad somewhere else and then that way it will sort this out and let me know which ad is converting okay so do me a favor go ahead and set up your uh your tracking for this funnel and then do me a favor if you need any any questions leave a comment below that way i can produce another training video for you guys and then answer all your questions and get them get you up and running quickly I want to say congratulations to destiny who set everything up from yesterday and create, made her first two sales congratulations that's two of many many to come so i look forward to seeing you reach your 100k challenge who's going to be the first to reach 100k let's get it started Thank <laughs> you.